Hello YouTube, this video is for those who like the Windows Metro or Windows 8 Start menu or lack thereof the Metro menu for Windows 7 and Vista. I would not recommend doing this in Windows XP, but it works great in Vista in Windows 7 for those who like this layout and ability to very quickly and easily click on apps. All you have to do is click on the little once you get to iobit.com go to products go to windows metro or win metro click here click on the free download as you can see it gives you their little menu click free download once it takes you to majorgeeks.com to the file all you have to do is click over here on the download location on one of the mirrors generally i select the second one because the first one half the time does not work right and it will bring you the pop-up. If it does not, you can click over here and it will redo it. If it pops up, just click Save. In the lower left-hand corner of Google Chrome, it will download the file. And once it's done, all you have to do is click on it to run the installer. Automatically, it's going to pop up the Open File Security Warning. Just click Run. And of course, User Account Control is going to pop up. Click Yes. Now that the installer's up, you can shrink or close your browser. Click next. Click accept. Click next. And click finish. Do not click the other option. Now it's going to take you to what it's going to look like. Again, this is for those who like this menu and like Windows Metro. The Metro menu is not bad. There's actually a lot of things that's relatively quick about it. Click those two options I did at the bottom and Here's your Metro menu. Again, one of the things that a lot of people like about it is the fact that you can put apps on here. Bam! There's my most commonly ran ones. All I have to do is click on any one of those and the program starts. If you want to go to your desktop, as you can see the photos are right here, you have the weather. You have Maps, Facebook, Twitter, SkyDrive, Bing. I hate Bing. All programs, stocks, as if I really maintain or keep up with those. Or you can just go to your old, good old desktop by clicking on the desktop. I generally move this over. I have a habit of putting it right next to my start button because under normal circumstances with Windows 8, that is your start button if you add it. You don't quite have the regular start menu just yet, so I move it over there. Why do I do this? Eh, makes more sense that way, don't you think? <laughs> Again... Whenever you start your computer in Windows 7, it's going to pop up with this. It'll look just like it does in Windows 8. The only difference is you are running Windows 7, not 8. It is going to give you your login name over here. If you click on it, you can shut down, restart, just like you can in Windows 8. You can also change user accounts. You can do your shutdown and everything else from right here, including checking for updates. That is updates on the Metro here, or go to your settings. Again, to go back to your desktop, just select the desktop right here. You're right back to your normal Windows 7 desktop. This information is out there for absolutely everybody. As always, watch, like, and share. Have a great day, and I hope you like Windows Metro, because if not, well, you better get used to it. The newer versions all have it.